So what is up guys? I am Jared Almazan. I am a flyweight fighter of Team Lakai and I'm here with John Marpak who is also a flyweight fighter. So we are here to give a breakdown of how the rear naked choke works and also a um, alternative if you cannot get the rear naked choke. So how does the rear naked choke works? The rear naked choke is by blocking the carotid arteries which are located at the side of the neck. So the big arteries that you can see in the side of the neck are the carotid arteries and which you need to block when you're doing the rear naked choke. Why do you need to do that? It's because the carotid arteries are giving oxygen to the brain which make us like um, awake, make us do stuff and you know like make us be where we are right now. And if we block it, it means that the brain would fall asleep or the brain would pass out, like we would pass out, for example. So I'm gonna show you guys how we should do the rear naked choke. So before you do the rear naked choke, you need to first secure your legs around his body. So you need to wrap around it, around his body, because if you choke from here, he would just go out. Like for example, Joe is gonna go out and the choke is gone. So what you need to do is secure your legs going inside and wrap around his body. So I put my legs around him. It's either you do this, and if you do this, it's okay, but be careful because he can also submit you from here. He can put his legs down and he can get you from your ankles. So you need to just secure your foot on his legs. Then do a sit bulk position, which is one arm over the chest and one arm under the armpit. Clamp together via cable grip and try to go to get the choke under his neck. So. When you get the choke here, make sure that your elbow is on his middle chest. And then your other arm, you need to be careful when you go and secure your figure four. Because if you do this, he would just get your arm and you cannot choke him from here. But if you're sneaky enough, you can hold his shoulder, put your neck, put your head around his head and just sneak it inside under the back of his head and when you choke make sure to squeeze using your shoulders and not your whole arm because if you use your shoulders then the squeeze would be tighter and it would it wouldn't cost you a lot of energy but if you use your arms he can resist and I would be the one who would get tired but if you use your shoulders to squeeze it would be easier for you to get the choke so that's how a rear naked choke works but what if from here you cannot remove your arm like it's always there and he's trying to do a telephone which is his hand over his neck right there so what I'm gonna do this is what you call an arm triangle but from the back control so I'm gonna move my arm under his armpit try to get the back of his muscle and then try to put my arm around my bicep and do the figure four again from here I'm gonna squeeze like I'm doing the rear naked choke and while doing this his shoulder is gonna block the carotid artery so it's not gonna I'm not gonna use my forearm but instead I'm gonna use his shoulder to block the carotid artery for it to secure the choke okay so one more time from here you're gonna hold his muscle back muscle and get your bicep do the figure four again don't do this but sneak around and put it under 
his head and squeeze using your shoulders and your chest. And then that's how you get the arm triangle from the back control. And that is how to do a rear arm triangle and also a breakdown of how a rear naked choke works. So if you guys want to be fancy, you can do the arm triangle from the back, right? And once again, my name is Jared Almazan. This is Jomar Paak. So if you guys want my t-shirt or his t-shirt or our shorts, please do visit Team Lakai Skin, which is always available. And for more instructional videos and videos of the fighters, you can go to teamlakai.net. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just press the subscribe button here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!